Weekend is here, and as you know, not everyone celebrates Christmas. For example, the Jewish community has wrapped up their Hanukkah celebrations. So what do they do on Christmas? Well, some watch comedy. So some of you might have figured out that I come from a typical Jewish family. We have a doctor, a lawyer, and a lesbian comic. <laughs> That is San Francisco comic Lisa Gagoldig, who will host her 31st Kung Pao Kosher Comedy Night tonight and all weekend at the Imperial Palace in Chinatown. It all started back in 1993 when Lisa was booked at what she thought was a comedy club, turned out to be a Chinese restaurant. Well, she brought down the house and it's taken off ever since at San Francisco's longest running comedy show. One of the headliners tonight joins us now. Live, that's Wendy Liebman. Good morning, Wendy. Good morning, Frank. Uh, great to have you with us. Um, well, let's chat. You have performed on Carson and Leno, Jimmy Fallon. How does Kung Pao Kosher Comedy measure up? Frank, it's one of my favorite shows ever. And I get to be in San Francisco, um, <clears throat> where I have, uh, I love San Francisco because this is where most of my family can't find me. <laughs> and uh, actually, I do have uh, my sister lives here and I get to see my friends. And at my age, that's what it's all about, you know, uh, being able to see. <laughs> OK, so well, it's a uh, good start. <laughs> and I, you know, I love the holidays. I've been um, thinking about what to get everybody for the holidays. Um, because it's the thought that counts. So, um, oh, that didn't get a laugh from you. <laughs> well, it, it is the thought that counts. So tell me, why uh, this show has had such great traction. It's been around. They, they went online during the, uh, the pandemic. I know Lisa well. But what is it about this show that just has staying power? It keeps coming back. I think it's all about the food. Um, the food and the community it's a really lovely uh it's a really lovely show because everybody's there because they have nothing else to do and you don't have to be jewish to go either there are i've been this is my sixth time at the show over the last 31 years and i've noticed that it's not not everybody is jewish so there's you know laughter is universal and uh, it's a beautiful night. I was joking about that. It's the food. It's really the community. Oh, I the know. Food is I know. Really and the food isn't bad either <laughs> at the palace there. Uh, what kind of, well, you kind of mentioned it, but what kind of crowd do you get? It's a little bit of everything, right? You don't have to be Jewish. You can, people love comedy. So open the doors and let I them mean, in. I mean, it's all ages. Well, there might be, uh, there might be an age limit, <clears throat> limit that you can't, be. excuse me, I'm losing my voice. My Come husband on. is going to be a, my husband's going to be ecstatic. Um, uh, yeah, I have performed for all ages at this venue. Yeah. So bring your family. It's just uh, a lot of fun. And the other comedians are hilarious. Rich Aronovich from New York and Talia Reese, also from New York. And Lisa Gedeldig, who you saw in the clip before you showed, uh, came to me, is going to be there, and her mother is going to be there virtually. Her mother is 92 years old, can Arlene. We, can we talk about Arlene a little bit? I've got kind of a, a, a crush on her. She's, I think, 91, <laughs> 92, and she kind of fell into comedy by happenstance during the lockdown comedy show. She came on and did such a great job. She's now a part of the program. Uh, she is a delight, isn't she? She's so funny. I mean, I've known Lisa for years, but I guess during the pandemic, uh, Lisa went to Florida to live with her and they sort of became this comedy team. So it's a beautiful thing. Uh, my parents are in New York, which is where I'm from. Uh, I'm I'm the youngest of my family. I always got the hand me downs and the secondhand smoke. And um, I did, too. But <laughs> but I mean, this is a time of year, no matter what religion or whatever you practice. It's just a time of 
being with your family. Yeah. And yeah. it's a lovely experience. So I hope everybody can come. All right. Well, you got a busy weekend, Wendy. Uh, we wish you all the best. Uh, break a leg tonight. And thanks for sharing this morning. And welcome to the Bay Area. Thank you so much, Frank. All right, Wendy. Have a good show tonight. By the way, it's the 31st Kosher Comedy Night. Two shows tonight. They'll do it again. Xmas Eve, two shows. And two shows on Christmas. There's a 5 p.m. dinner show, an 8.30 cocktail show, Imperial Palace, right in Chinatown. Tickets range from 30 to 100 bucks.